Oh, there are heartbreaking stories from my father and his elder sister who was 10 years older than him. Um, for example, one of the stories is how the journey uh, from Kiev to Siberia when they were escaping from the Nazis, um, their mother took uh, my father, who was one year old, a baby, and his sister, who was 10 years old, and they got on this train where lots of people were, uh, lots of Jews, and not just Jews, but mostly Jews who were running away from, from Kiev. The father stayed in Kiev, but they went on that train, and uh, with the baby and with a 10-year-old girl, my grandmother was exhausted taking care of them and they had to sometimes the train would stop when there was a an alarm what's it called the sirens for air attack mm. so the train would stop and they were required to leave the train run into the next and hide in the woods or hide somewhere until the alarm was the it was um, safe to go back on the train and carry on with the journey and um, my aunt remembers it all, she was 10 years old, tells me that after several of these, their mother stopped getting them out of the train and they just stayed on the train because they were so exhausted that they couldn't, she just couldn't cope with it. Mm. So they were exhausted. And th another story is when he, when they, they moved to Siberia and they were hungry, they didn't have, they didn't have much. Uh, they ran away with little, you know, little suitcases and they didn't have very much food so uh, my aunt tells me a story well she remembers that my father was a, again he was a little boy uh, when they had um, a slice of bread per person per, per day and my father was uh, something like three four years old and he kept pinching bit by bit his sister's bread and eventually he just ate the whole slice of bread and she was really upset and she remembers that story and she tells it still with tears in her eyes. She's now 80, 80 something years old.